Here's an interesting question. This one is about a certain factory where four processes A, B, C, D, these are carried out 24 hours per day, seven days per week. That means these processes keep going on 24 seven. They don't stop. Then they individually tell us about each process, about process A. It operates on a 60 hour cycle, which means what they've explained further. Being on a 60 hour cycle means that when process A starts, it takes 60 hours to complete. This is when you say process A is done, but then it doesn't stop here. In Immediately it, it begins again and then another 60 hours are needed for the process to be complete again then another 60 hours and so on. So basically this is how you understand a cycle. I'm just writing that one cycle is for 60 hours for process A. Then they tell you about the other processes also. If you see here process B 24 hour cycle, process C 27 hour cycle and process D 9 hour cycle. Perfect. So I've written all of these down. Now then they've given us one more piece of information that on Monday, all four processes began together at 10 in the morning. So 10 a.m. Monday, each process started at the same time. Obviously, they will end at different times because they have different different cycles. For example, if I talk about just A, then starting at 10 a.m. Monday, it will go on for 60 hours before it restarts. Similarly, B has a different cycle, 24 hours somewhere here. It goes on and then continues and then continues. You will see that at D, which is a really small cycle compared to the others, it will restart a lot often compared to the others. But still, all of them are starting at the same point at this 10 a.m. mark. Now, at this point, there's not much we can do here. We've simply listed, we've understood cycles, took, taken an example. Every piece of information is here. Let's just really see what the question is now asking. If you found the analysis of this data set helpful, then hit that like button so that other GMAT aspirants can also learn from it. And to stay tuned with such content, hit the subscribe button below. Now, to take your learning to the next level, we have put together a free trial in which you can experience content in all the sections tested on GMAT Focus Edition. For example, you can build your CR pre-thinking skills, you can learn how to approach statistics questions in graphics interpretation as part of DI, you can learn everything about linear inequalities as tested on the GMAT Focus Edition and a lot of other content. The link for this is in the description. Now, let's get back to the question at hand. So, on the basis of all of this information, select for processes A, B, D, this first column, select for this what, the day of the week on which processes A, B and D will next begin together at 10 in the morning. Very interesting. I'm going to read this later. First, let's understand this part. See, we know the first time all of them began together was 10 a.m. on a Monday. That was the first time and then they went in their own cycles. Now you want to see that continuing this way, all of them would keep going on and on for days and days forever, right? When is it again that it happens that they start on some morning at 10 a.m.? This time you have to tell the day. And this is also for all of these three processes. I'm talking about A, B and D only when I'm talking about the first column. So we'll only try to understand when is it that these three will start again together at 10 a.m. only. So let's think about this. Come back here and only focus on A, B and D. Let me just highlight these three. Okay. Now, the general principle is that whenever there is a repetition of certain activities that happen at regular intervals, these are all at regular intervals because they have fixed cycles and there is repetition because the same cycles are carried out 24 seven. Whenever something like this happens, you're always looking at LCM. So you could straight away go to calculating the LCM of the correct values. Now, see, those of you who already understand this, you can jump ahead to the part in the solution where I simply calculate. But those of you who don't get this naturally or intuitively, just continue with the Video. I will explain why it's the LCM. You should really, really understand the reason. Look. Now think about it this way. This is the original starting point. This is 10 a.m. Monday when all of these processes started. Now, although they had the same starting points because they had different cycles, they will, they will complete sooner or later depending on different, different cycles. So if I look at A, which has a 60 hour cycle, the first time this process will complete will be 60 hours after 10 a.m. Then again, another cycle will start and it will complete again after another 60 hours, which will really be 120 hours after 10 a.m this way. And so if you continue next time it completes, that will be 180 hours after 10 a.m. And if you notice, simply what I'm writing, these values are just multiples of 60. These are the hours that it will take after 10 a.m. for one cycle to finish and hence the next one to begin. 
Same thing if you look at here in B. Because it's now a cycle of 24, first time it finishes 24 hours after 10 a.m. Next time this will be a multiple of 24, so 48 hours and so on. This is going to be 72, 96 and so on. This is how many hours it will take to finish different different cycles of B after 10 a.m. Now notice all of these are nothing but multiples of 24. Similarly, lastly when you look at D, then these will also be nothing but multiples of 9. So it's going to be 9 and then 18. 27, 36 and these many hours after 10 a.m. Now just focus on what we want. We understood the starting point, but this way it feels as if because of different cycles, they will always keep ending at different places. And so they will if I talk about individual cycles. But what you are interested in is that day on which again at 10 a.m. all of them start together. Now all of them will start together only if all of them end here together as well. So you want to see where is it that it will happen? Which day will it happen that all of them complete their cycles simultaneously? This will be a common number when I take a common multiple of all of these values 60, 24 and 9. Now there are many many common multiples but because you are talking about the next time that they come together you want to find the least common multiple. So very very interesting very important to be able to draw this connection between what concept you want and this interesting word problem. At this point, let me ask you this. Could you have arrived at the approach of solving this question with this level of clarity had you not spent the effort in thoroughly understanding the information presented? Such is the power of the process of owning the data set. And because this skill may not come naturally to many of you, we have created a course architecture that ensures that we teach you this skill through every guided quiz in the EGMAT DI course and we reinforce the same in every practice quiz. In fact, in the TPA quant modules in the two-part analysis course, we teach you how to get comfortable with this question type. You will gain the confidence to handle any question of this type in the most efficient manner. We serve more than 58 specially curated questions at the right progression so that you can learn various aspects of this question type, including the process skills of inference, translate and visualize. Thus, throughout the DI course, through around 500 questions, you will learn such process skills so that you can also comfortably use the owning the data set approach. Let's now get back to the solution at hand. So we simply need to calculate the LCM. Now this is nothing but your conceptual understanding. You will need to prime factor all of these numbers. Let me quickly do that for you. Perfect. Now when I want to find the LCM, I'll simply take all of the prime factors with the greatest powers I see of them. So since we have a 2 to the power 3, that's the greatest. I have a 3 squared, so I'll put 2 here and 5 to the power 1. When you calculate this, it's going to be 360 hours. What that means is that after 360 complete hours after this 10 a.m. Monday, they will all be starting again one more time. Now, I don't know whether it's this stage yet. Is it again 10 a.m.? But I know where they are starting again at the same time. But I want to see this specific situation. Let's see, let's try to convert these into days to see if this duration is a complete number of days. If this is a complete number of days, then you definitely will be here at 10 a.m. again. Otherwise, it could be some other time as well. So to convert this into days, there's nothing but dividing this value by 24 and you will see this perfectly divides to give you 15 days. Since it's a complete number of days, you are sure that you will be back here at 10 a.m. again. Now you just need to find which day this is after 15 days. Okay, so simple story. We know every single week is seven days. So you want to see 15 days will take you where? So the first seven days here, when I go seven days after Monday, I will land at a Monday again. Then I go another seven days after Monday, I'll land at a Monday again. Then one more day will take me to Tuesday. And therefore, my answer for the first column is Tuesday. So really, the major thing here was to be able to draw this connection that it's LCM that you need to do. So visualizing here and drawing those inferences, that made it really easy. You'll notice now that we've done this, the second part of the question is very, very simple because it's exactly the same thing. You now have to select for all four processes the day of the week on which all of them will begin together at 10 in the morning. Basically, instead of doing this work that we did for A, B and D, now you need to do it for all four of them. And since you've understood once that it's just the LCM of the numbers, this time you don't need to think anything. You just need to find the LCM of all four of these. So let's write that down. 
And we're done. So same thing again. We'll prime factor all of the numbers and then see what's the greatest power that you get for each prime factor. I still have a 2 to the power 3 as the greatest. Now a 3 to the power 3 along with 5. So it's 1080 hours. Again, I have to see if this is complete days because if this is complete days, then definitely I'm going to come back to 10 a.m. only on some day that I want to find. So 1080 hours, simply divide this by, by 24. This is 45 days. So yes, this is complete days. Now understand how many weeks this is because it's more I should not just keep writing 7 and 7 I can think of the nearest multiple of 7 which is 42 which means it's 6 complete weeks that will take me back to a Monday and after that it's just 3 more days right so I complete here after 42 days, I'll be here at a Monday. And then after three more days, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So therefore, the answer for this second column, this day that we were looking for, this is Thursday. And we're done. Let's now nicely summarize this. So first, we understood everything that was given to us. We saw that the information was not very complicated to understand. But taking an example was very important here to completely own the data set. After that, once we understood what the question was saying, we still had to come back and do this visualization to make sure that we truly understand what's given, what is asked, how many days, what is the time you're starting, what are all of these cycles about. That clarity helped us very easily connect this with the concept of LCM. Since we found the LCM easily, we saw that it was 15 days and then it was just about if I go 15 days after Monday, which day am I at? Same way here, it was if I start on a Monday at 10 a.m., then 45 days later, where is it? Which day will I be at? So that was relatively straightforward. The part about finally marking the answer was easy. It was really this part where you're understanding the situation. So it really shows the importance of owning the data set. Once you do that, answering the questions asked will be really, really quick.